Hey everyone, today we have something really exciting for you guys. This is something new on our channel and we're gonna walk you through the process of actual project. So we didn't begin this yet, we just signed the contract and we want to show you how we do it step by step. It's reverse engineering with modification. Here in the front of me, I have a couple of parts. Most important part is this light camera, we can call it however. And then we have a three off the shelf parts. We are going to reverse engineer kind of th all three of them to get the final product. Final product is gonna be a cylinder that has a glass or the lens. The light camera will go inside and then we're gonna have a bigger cylinder on top. However, in our version, we're not gonna have smaller cylinder and a bigger cylinder. Everything is gonna be one piece and just on top, we're gonna have a lid that will close seal everything. So idea for this project is to keep this camera light safe inside the enclosure and to prevent any water intrusion. So right now, as you can see, the camera is also loose inside. You're gonna make a sleeve. So when the customer puts the device inside, there would not be any movement. So imagine this unit is gonna be taller, the height of the camera. We're gonna have a threading on the side with a gasket. And on top, we're just gonna have a lid and that will be it. So instead of customer having three different pieces or even four, we're gonna make that to just two, which will save a lot of costs from prototyping, manufacturing and assembly. Also, this current unit is made out of aluminum, which is preventing customer for remotely operating this device. So he cannot, from the distance, remotely operate the camera light because when the camera is sealed inside, the aluminum enclosure is preventing any signal to go through. So we're gonna make it out of plastic, prototype with 3D printing, 100% fulfillment because we don't want any water intrusion inside while testing. And then it's gonna be injection molding. So stay tuned for more and we're gonna show you step-by-step step from the measurement to 3D modeling and then prototyping. Thank you for watching.